There she goes. She's all happy now. Look at her. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Oh my gosh, look what was in the front door waiting for me. I couldn't believe how quickly this arrived. So I just wanted to say that um, I think I put this order in on Thursday. On Friday, it was um, already processed and in the process of being shipped out. Saturday, I received the email that it's going to be in the mail. And then it's now Monday and it's here. That was so fast. So I haven't opened it yet. I just cut up the sides here, but I'm about to cut the top part here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you guys um, this new product that I received. And I am going to put a link in the description for you guys to click on so you guys can see more of the details about this. Uh, this, I believe, came from, let me look here, it is from Las Vegas, North Las Vegas. So it was a very quick process to get it here. So I'm going to take it out of the box and I'm going to show you what we got. All right, so this is what's inside that bigger box. So when you open it up, the first thing you'll probably see is the manual, and it's gonna be for this model here, the dog blow dryer, the pet hair dryer. So after carefully reading all the details, um, you do wanna read everything. It's very short and small. It's not a very big um, amount of instructions to read. So basically, um, go through everything. Make sure that when you open up the packages, there's no damage or anything. But because it was packaged very well, everything turned out fine on here. So in the um, instructions here, it does talk about all the pieces you're going to be getting. You got this spring hose, the four nozzles. You got your manual, which is this one here. And then, of course, the machine. Now, I wanted to go over some details real quickly. When you plug this in, make sure your voltage, whatever your voltage is in your country or um, state, make sure it matches this one here, the 110 volts. Plug it in. First thing you're going to do is go ahead and power it on. Do not touch the nozzles here and don't turn on the heat at all. It may cause some damage. After you've turned this on, then go ahead and adjust for the speed because you do have some speed and you have a heat button. Once the indicator light is on, then you can go ahead and turn on the heater button to um, release a little bit of heat. Now, there's one tricky part. Um, I had to read it because I was trying to figure it all out. But basically, everything is already attached. These things don't fit clearly like this, so don't do that. What you're going to do is you have these little buckles here. You're going to want to release them and then slide it in. Once you slide it in when you release this, it goes in smoothly and then readjust it. It's hard to do with one hand. And now look, it's all together. You're going to want to repeat the same thing when you change out the attachments. Now, another benefit besides the heater, I love that it has the heat because a lot of these don't always have the heat. Is take this off. And when you take this off, inspect everything. Make sure you have it all because what we're seeing right now is actually all you're going to be getting if you get this model here. Inside, you have the screw. Don't lose it. Take this off. It's hard to do with one hand. You have a filter sponge back there to collect all the dust and maybe hair and stuff because you don't want anything to go in here. So check this regularly. Wash it. It's washable. And put it back on. Screw this in. And just finger tight screw it. Don't... Um, don't do it too hard. You don't want to, like, destroy the thread that's in there. Okay, so that's nice and snug. So, that should be everything. So, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and show you an example. We're going to use this on the little Papillon. And, um, yeah, just go through the instructions real quickly. And same thing to take this off. Just kind of release this. I'm doing it with one hand so that shows that it's not that bad. It's really easy. Make sure you don't lose these parts. Be gentle. Don't break them. And if for anything, for any reason, this breaks down because you might have done something have the professionals fix it don't do it yourself so i think that's it so let's get started oh and before we get started i just wanted to thank the company thank you so much for sending this out i really appreciate it if you guys want to check out this um item check my description and the comment section and um if there's anything else in there i will let you know on the screen what extra you guys get out of this so let me know what you think if you have one already or if you have an old one from years ago like my mom does um this would be a nice little um addition because she's got a lot of long-haired dogs. <laughs> all right, well, I'll see you guys in a second. There she goes. She's all happy now. Look at her. <laughs> she's so cute. Look at so this ears. is Thule, and she's my mom's dog. She has a few of these, and she's a senior dog. She's a Papillon, and she's going to be our model this evening. We are going to use her for this demonstration, and we're going to check out the blower, and we'll show you the results at the very end. So here we go. She's going to enjoy this. On well, this clip, I'm showing you the different attachments we'll be using. All right, so we're going to get started. I am showing you here uh, the power button first. Then we're going to turn on the heat. I'm going to turn the nozzle, and there's the blower. Can you do it on the way? 
so if you know how to groom a dog, you want to make sure that you groom in the direction that you want to get rid of all the water. So she's doing it downward. She does protect their ears by covering it up, and you'll see that at some point in the video. So she's just kind of massaging Tula here. Then you're going to notice that we are using the comb attachment. So this has air and little holes where the air comes right through the comb, and we'll show that towards the end of this attachment. So since my mom grooms dogs, and she's done that for a while, and she show dogs, this is probably one attachment she doesn't personally use, so it's not her favorite, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to be your favorite. So try out the different attachments and see which one you like. You'll notice the holes right here. That's where the air comes through, and that's what helps dry your dog off. So this is the smaller attachment that's flat. There's a bigger one and a smaller one. My mom likes this one. This is probably her second favorite along with the other big flat one, but her favorite one's going to be the round one. We'll show you that one in a minute. So this nozzle attachment is the round one. This is the one my mom prefers, so she likes to use that one. See that heat button right there? We actually turned it off and then raised the, the speed of the power of this um, air coming out. And we just kept on blow drying the dog. And as you can see here, it just dries the dog beautifully, it makes her nice and soft, and she's just drying quickly. All right, you guys, so see, she covers up the ear hole. And then she puts the air on it, covers it up so she doesn't blow out her ears. How smart, right? All right, so here's one angle of her. Look at her coat, so pretty. The dogs do wear little, um, like little Jesse over here. They wear belly bands if they're boys, which is only one boy. Or they wear their little girly diapers. <laughs> but we don't want to put her down because she needs to go outside. So she's all groomed. Look how pretty that coat is. Look at you. Do you want a bath next? <laughs> You're just a cute little papillon. This is little JJ. And then over here we have Holly. She's a filet. I forgot. I'll put the word. Look at little Holly. He's so cute. This is where they sleep. Look at little JJ. He's so cute. She's a little belly band. You're just a cutie. There she goes. She's all happy now. Look at her. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's so cute. Look at those ears. Look how pretty the coat turned out. So this is just a, a video to show how she looks after she has a bath. She hasn't been um, per perfectly groomed or anything like getting her feet trimmed or anything or nails done. Just for you guys. Oh, oh Holly. Good lordy. You get jealous? <laughs> I yeah, never I heard her make that, that weird sound. sound before. It's like she was complaining. <laughs> so cute. Tuli's like, hey, I feel wet still. <laughs> She's doing all that motion of the carpet scratching. Well, thank you guys for checking out the video. If you guys go into the description, you should have a discount yeah. on there. I believe it's a discount code. And also, this item is available on Amazon. Thank you, thank you.